First, unscrew a brass ceiling plug. Make sure the O-ring stays on its place. Combine the launcher and the chassis, but don't tighten it yet. Insert the connecting sleeve in an opening on upper part of the chassis and screw it all the way in. By this action, you are providing a pressure supply from chassis to the grenade launcher. Tighten the launcher by twisting a flag handles. Remove the rear plug from fully collapsed stock. Take the max CO2 lid and prepare it by twisting its head counterclockwise all the way out. Take the first 12 gram CO2 cartridge and insert it into the quick reload chamber. Do not pierce this tank yet. Insert other two cartridges in the way you see it on this video. Twist the lid's head clockwise until both cartridges will be pierced. Bring the stock in its default position. Now two tanks in the stock providing a CO2 pressure for your grenade launcher. You still can use the naming device, but don't pierce the tank inside the chamber. Remember, even if you didn't pierce a cartridge in the chamber, you still have a pressure in it from other two cartridges. It is forbidden to try opening a lid under the pressure. Two pierced cartridges in a stock are guarantee you 15 consistent shots. After 15 shots, you can pierce a third cartridge. It will let you shoot another 10 consistent shots. After 25 shots, you have to replace cartridges. In order to degas the system, you can use either degas button or to unscrew a head of the stock lid. Now, when it's no pressure in the system, you can replace all three cartridges. If the serial number of your launcher is under 200, you will have to replace all the O-rings to a new red ones by tagging. 